hello everybody, this is Dragon Kirby, and welcome back to Psychonauts. In the last episode, we did some scavenger hunting, collecting side cards and the, all of the collecting as many side cards, side challenge markers, and uh, the scavenger hunt items that we could find. And this episode, well, we are going to go to uh, where are you? We are gonna go to each of nine's lap because it's time it's time to return to uh to Raz's mind. Okay, I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Okay, let's get back to uh, Raz's mind. Is this the one? Yes. This is the Brain Tumbler experiment. Oh cool, we're right here. Oh, we can see what's in this. We got some, uh... Some metal cobwebs and some more figments, but no, let's uh, let's climb up the tower. Roll and roll and roll and roll. Be. Let's just keep just slowly climb. I just like making sure I don't got I don't miss any uh, figments. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. <laughs> oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth, which is dropping in the old garbage chute. Now don't chew solid foods for six hours! Lily! TV! Uh, this is interesting. What's in here? Okay, now that we're taking care of the, uh, now we're figuring out what's going on with Dogen's, ow, Dogen's brain, ow. We are now dealing with whatever this is, whatever this is trying to do. So smart. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. 
Okay, this is an interesting boss fight where we have to like Come on, target me. Now I don't know if that actually helped, but Now we get to fight. Now we, get, now we get to fight a tank. Yeah. There we go. You gotta, you gotta keep keep hitting that delicious. No, well, no not delicious. That, that nice lime green uh, underbelly. Uh, we're confusion grenade. And now that we take care of that. That was a lot of explosion. Now we gotta deal with this. Dealing with a lot of confusion right now. Okay, it's floating over here. Are you kidding me? nightmare or a plan or both wait a minute Rasputin I'm sorry I had to abort the experiment something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately I know you'll never believe hold that thought in a rush official psychonauts business wait so is this official psychonaut hey eh? you forgot your hmm From Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Yeah, we better hurry. Also, we better hurry to, uh, do the, uh, actually, wait. why not just use this stuff? We gotta hurry to the, uh, the cabin because, where is it? If, uh, because I need to buy something because off screen, I forgot to mention this. As you see, I have like about 1,200, uh, 1,200, um, arrowheads. And I want to buy something. But we have to enter the lodge. Hey, anything because I want to buy... Take that into someone's mind with you. You can click. Right, I'm going to buy the cobweb duster. Because we're going to need that soon. And I want to buy... Uh... Mental magnet. 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 There you go. What's in here? Oh, I thought there would be people, kids in this room. Well, time to uh, head to the beach.
but I believe it might be faster just to uh, run over there because it's over here and don't worry about the lion Bobby uh oh look I can explain Geez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Okay. This sounds. This sounds like this world's gonna go insane. I I think my biggest question with all this entire plot is how on earth do uh how on earth do you get someone to sneeze out the brain? But let's get going. Do the basses fair. Evil clam. This is kind of strange. Not, not gonna lie. We're now in an underwater underwater air bubble. And I just fell. My biggest question is What do I do now? I'm in a giant air bubble and with like no direction.
out the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Oh, let's use those. I mean, it's like the first in the uh, uh went to my uh direction. Uh, I'm just using like a lot of thumbtacks. Oh. oh, that's just great. You're now using the how on earth are you moving the air bubble? I don't think I'll ever understand. If I'm correct. Yeah, I don't think there's any major collectibles in this area. Also, if you get close, you can see the psychic hand uh, trying to uh, get a get a hold of us. Also, I wasn't expecting two boss fights in one video, but hey, I didn't expect two boss fights to be this close together. I do kind of like this, how the the uh, challenge of a water level is to not get into the water because of Raz being cursed to not be able to touch water. It's pretty creative in my opinion. It's like... Huh, I wish I kind of knew had like a, a good uh, example of another idea similar to that, but... But I don't. Oh, uh, what is it? It's or oh, it's gotta be something. Okay, he's now spinning up tacks. Okay. Let's just keep hitting him with those. This is there we go. Now we Oh, is he still moving? Still moving the bubble, really? I thought we were done with moving bubbles. I could say I'm pretty, pretty sure there's like certain games out there with like a similar challenge where it's like, oh, you have to go through this type of level without touching, without touching said element of the level because your body can't handle it. If it just like levels where like you play a balloon, like you had to like ride a balloon. And you have to follow the air currents and try not to touch uh, touch spikes. I don't know. I am not having a good uh, way of explaining this. And I risked I risked that so badly. And how like I'm constantly getting closer and closer to the edge of the bubble. I do like the music in this part. Hoping you can hear it better without me having to adjust the volume for you to hear it. 
going away for a bit because Now I have to go down this. Holy cow, that was. Oh. Come on. So I had to get him stuck in the clams so he can get caught. Get caught in the clamp. There we go. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Oh, poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there. Uh, if you say so, Ford. But I think we're gonna do that in the next episode. So, next time on Second Knots, we are going to enter this big boy's brain. If you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I hope you have a wonderful. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.